Breaking news tonight out of Lake County, where a jury has just been seated in the case of Lori Shaver. She's accused of killing her husband and then burying him in the yard. Rush's Dave McDaniel joins us live outside the courthouse with the late breaking details. Dave. Yes, Stuart, they started with a pool of about 40 potential jurors around 9 o'clock this morning, and they whittled that down to the three-man, three-woman jury about 3.15 this afternoon, and they have two alternates as well. Then each side had their opportunity to deliver an opening statement. The evidence is going to show that the defendant gradually got rid of Michael Shaver's property. She sold his four-wheelers, sold some expensive tools, sold guns. She knew Michael Shaver wasn't coming back. She knew Michael Shaver wasn't going to need those things because she knew Michael Shaver is dead. Mr. Shaver, you'll hear, was very possessive. He was very combative. He was very destructive. He imposed fear in his family over and over again. And the defense attorney telling the jury that the case, that the state doesn't have a strong case against Lori Shaver at all. They have nothing to show definitively that she was involved in what happened to him. This is a case that took some time to get to this point. It was 2018 before this case became well known. Lake County Sheriff's detectives got the authority to search this rural property for Michael Shaver. Friends had reported him missing. His estranged wife, Lori, said he'd taken off more than two years ago when she didn't know where he was. Eventually, after all the searching and looking, under a fire pit and concrete slab, Michael Shaver's body was found. It took until 2020 for Lori Shaver to be charged with secondary murder and accessory after the fact. She was accused of communicating to Michael's friends that he wanted to be left alone, making the friends believe they were hearing from Michael, not her. Then in 2023, court documents from Lori Shaver's defense attorney suggested one of their children, an elementary age girl who would be a teenager by now, had done the shooting. The assertion that Michael was physically abusive to Lori and the child had had enough of it. The state saying back then, the child has never said such a thing to investigators and they dispute that theory. And again, the court has set aside a couple of weeks to uh, complete this trial, but during the jury selection process, the potential jurors were told by the judge and the attorneys that they are hopeful that they can finish sooner than that. Reporting live in Lake County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. All right, Dave, thank you.